Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Haris Abbas Khan and today my presentation topic is genetically modified crops and here is the introduction of the genetically modified crops. Genetically modified crops are genetically modified crops or biotech crops. They have the specific DNA which has been modified and it's been used to generate the genetically modified organisms through the genetic engineering. There are three generations of the genetic modified plants. First generation was occurring in the 1994 which has a herbicide to tolerance. They have insect resistance, virus resistance, disease tolerance, and delayed ripening characteristics. The second generation was occurred in 1995, which have a high nutritional value, amino acid rich, premium quality, low allergicity. The third generation was occurred in the 1998, which was so important in the human life, like the production of the vaccine, the antibody, and the pharmaceutical protein. And the, now is the history of the genetically modified crops. The first genetically modified crop plant was produced in 1989, which was an antibiotic resistant crop plant was produced. The first genetically modified plant was approved for sale in US in 1994, which was flavored sour tomato. In 1995, BT potato was approved by the United States Environmental Protection Agency, tagging it country's first pesticide producing crop. In, in 2000, vitamin A enriched golden rice was produced in current scenario. Genetically modified crops are producing in almost every country and it, and it increases the country economy like there increases the exports. And now we talk about the name of some genetically modified crops which includes some foods like the soybeans, corn fields, tomatoes, sugar cane, and the golden rice. The modification of the soybean is, soybean is produced by the herbicide resistant gene taken from the bacteria and inserted in soybean. The corn fields was produced by the new gene added or transferred into genome. The tomato is produced by a reverse copy of the gene used for making a PG enzyme is inserted in genome. New genes added or transferred into genome, which produce the sugarcane. And the golden rice, rice is different from all of them because they include the three genes, two from the daffodil, which is an organism, and third is from the bacterium. And now we talk about the, some advantages of the genetically modified crops. The crops which has been genetically modified have the enhanced taste and quality, reduced maturation time, increased nutrients, tolerance, and stress. They have the improved resistance to disease, pests, and herbicides. New products and the growing techniques have also the characteristics of the genetic modified organism and they increase the production of the crops in a country. And here are some disadvantages of the genetically modified crops. Proteins produced by genetically modified organisms are usually causes allergies and infections. Horizontal transfer of antibiotic resistant genes from the transgenic crops to bacteria. Persistent release of the insecticidal proteins by the genetic modified organisms can disrupt the biological activity of the cell. Environmental risk of crops developed using genetically modified organisms because some organism causes the allergies and in the proteins which increase or decrease the metabolism of the cell. And here are some steps of the genetically modified organism to produce a new generation of plants. To produce crops with the improved characteristics, we use the genetically modified technique. First step is the cut of the gene of interest by the specific enzyme, which is called the restriction enzyme, and enzyme which contains and inserted into the plasmid, which contains the recombinant DNA. The insertion of the recombinant DNA with the gene of interest is undergo by the DNA ligase, which joins the two DNA sequences together. And here is the selection of the plant transformation. Selection of the plant transformation involves demonstrating that gene has been inserted and it is inherited normally. Means by the in normal breeding, virus, for example, in virus resistant plant and the high yield crop has been breeding together and make a virus resistant and high yield crop. But in the genetic modification, a specific gene of interest is taken from the virus resistant plant and the specific gene of interest is taken from the high yield crop and make each other together to a combination and make a new DNA which is called the recombinant DNA and now which is put in the plant 
and then make a new genetically modified organism called the virus resistant and the high yield crop. And here are the some specificity of genetically modification. Identification and the isolation of the specific genes with defined functions. They have the insertion of the specific genes into the crop species to promote desirable characteristics like they increase the herbicidal characteristics, immunity and the metabolism to increase their metabolism or the allergies resistant genes. And the genetically modified progeny can be selected for the product or activity of specific genes with a defined function. There are no surprise from unknown genes transferred along with the plasmid cross. During the cross of the plasmid with the gene of interest, there is no specific proof that the unknown genes transfer with the plasmid cross. And now we talk about the steps involved in the genetic modification. In a summary, here's an example. The bacterium is the agrobacterium to patients. The first step includes the plasmid is removed from the bacterium and the transfer DNA is cut by the restriction enzyme. The foreign DNA is cut by the same enzyme which was used in, to cut the agrobacterium to facian plasmid. The foreign DNA is inserted into the transfer DNA of the plasmid and make a new DNA called the recombinant transfer plasmid. The fourth step includes the plasmid is reinserted into the bacterium to mature their offsprings and make a new recombinant organism which now called the genetically modified organism. The bacterium is used to insert the transfer DNA, carrying the foreign gene of the foreign DNA into the chromosome of the plant cell. The plant cells will then grow in a agar petri plate or the culture characteristics which have the some char culture characteristics, nutrient broth and the some broth which are used to make a plant growth more comfortable. And now the seventh and the last step of a plant is generated from a cell clone all of which cells carrying the foreign gene which was combined with the plasmid and may express it as a nutrient. Now the plant is has been called the genetically modified organism. Thank you so much.